When people recommend Debian 13, they rarely do it with excitement. There's no hype culture around Debian, no dramatic thumbnails, no loud claims. And that silence is exactly what made me curious. I kept seeing Debian recommended quietly by longtime Linux users, people who don't distro hop, people who care more about systems behaving than systems showing off. So I installed Debian 13 and decided to use it seriously, every day, to understand what keeps pulling people back to it. This is not a beginner reaction video. This is not about looks or first impressions. This is about living with Debian 13 and understanding why some Linux users trust it more than almost anything else. The first thing you notice after logging in is how calm Debian feels. Nothing jumps at you. No welcome screens, no notifications asking you to configure things immediately. The desktop appears, and then nothing. Debian waits. That pause is intentional. Debian assumes you know what you want to do and stays out of the way. This design philosophy explains a lot. Debian does not try to impress you. It tries to not interfere with you. Over time, that becomes its biggest strength. As you start using Debian daily, the idea of stability becomes clearer. Stability here does not mean outdated software. It means predictability. Debian 13 ships with software versions that have already been tested together for a long time. These packages are not experimental. They are not rushing to be first. They are chosen because they behave reliably with each other. You feel this immediately when installing software. Applications install cleanly. Dependencies resolve quietly. Nothing feels fragile. You don't get the sense that one update could pull the rug out under your system. Debian users recommend this because they value calm over novelty. Updates on Debian 13 are almost boring, and that's a compliment. You update the system and nothing surprising happens. No sudden interface changes, no features disappearing, no settings resetting. The system updates and you continue working exactly where you left off. This consistency builds trust over time. Another reason Debian gets recommended is control. Debian gives you ownership of your system. It does not make assumptions about how you want things configured. It does not hide advanced options behind layers of abstraction. If you want a simple setup, it stays simple. If you want to customize deeply, Debian allows it without fighting you. This becomes very noticeable in system configuration. Network settings, user permissions, services, startup behavior, everything is transparent. Debian doesn't try to be clever, it tries to be honest. Many experienced users value this more than convenience. Performance is another quiet strength. Debian 13 runs lean. It does not preload unnecessary background services. It does not constantly phone home. The system feels responsive not because it's flashy, but because nothing unnecessary is running. On both modern and older hardware, this efficiency makes Debian feel solid and dependable. Desktop environment choice also matters here. Debian lets you choose how heavy or how minimal you want your experience to be, and regardless of that choice, Debian behaves consistently. It doesn't redesign workflows every release. Long-time users can upgrade and feel immediately at home. Security is another reason Debian earns trust. Security updates arrive reliably, without drama. Debian's security team is conservative and thorough. Vulnerabilities are patched without destabilizing the system. For users who care about long-term safety more than experimental features, this matters a lot. Then there's the philosophy behind Debian. Debian is not driven by a corporation chasing trends, it's driven by a community focused on longevity. Decisions are slow, deliberate, and sometimes frustratingly careful. But that caution is exactly why Debian systems often run for years without reinstalling. Many Linux users eventually stop chasing new distributions and settle into something that just works. For a lot of them, that destination is Debian. Another undermated aspect is documentation. Debian's documentation is deep, technical, and honest. It assumes you want to understand what your system is doing. That learning curve can feel steep at first, but once you climb it, you gain confidence. You're no longer guessing how your system works, you know. Debian 13 also shines as a base system. 
Many popular distributions are built on top of Debian for a reason. Debian provides a stable foundation that others customize. Some users skip the layers and go straight to the source. Less abstraction, less magic, more control. Using Debian daily changes how you think about Linux. You stop expecting the system to entertain you. You start expecting it to behave. That shift is subtle, but powerful. Debian users recommend Debian 13 not because it's exciting, but because it earns trust slowly. It doesn't try to win you over in the first hour, it proves itself in the hundredth day. If you're the kind of user who values reliability, predictability, and long-term stability, Debian starts to make a lot of sense. It's not trying to replace Windows through marketing, it's replacing it quietly by doing its job well. After spending real time with Debian 13, the recommendations finally make sense. This is a system designed to last, not weeks, not months, years. And once you experience that level of calm and control, it's very hard to go back.